best historical Chinese dramas. Avid drama fans like us enjoy all genres of Asian dramas, but one genre we're particularly fond of is historical dramas. Out of all entertainment industries, China makes the most historical dramas. The ratio between historical and modern dramas produced yearly, if not slightly, tipping towards historical dramas. We love historical sea dramas for so many reasons. Not only do they honor China's rich history, but through them we get to explore the beauty of Chinese folklore, music, and customs. The breathtaking landscapes and stunning visuals of the actors in the traditional attires are also a very appreciated bonus. There are three main genres of historical dramas. There's wuxia, which is martial arts themed dramas, xianxia, dramas that handle immortal heroes, and lastly, xuanhuan, fantasy dramas. Our list of 10 best historical sea dramas will have all of them, so let's get into it. Number 10, The Wolf. We open our list with a star studded beauty and the beast themed wuxia drama. The Wolf centers around an abandoned boy, raised by wolves, who later gets adopted by the emperor and then becomes a prince. In his childhood, he meets a nice girl who gives him a name, and although he grows up looking wild and cold on the outside, he still has so much love in his heart. All of it is reserved for that girl. The young lady is the gorgeous beloved and precious daughter of the city master. Many years after their separation as kids, they meet again by chance. The prince finds himself still totally head over heels for her, and she finds that although he's such a wolf-like big shot now, he still has the same kindness and sense of justice he had as a kid. You'll love this drama if you like fights for justice and men who do anything for love. Number 9, The Princess Wei Young. Identity theft is not cool, but maybe sometimes it could be justifiable, such is the case for the main character of The Princess Wei Young. It all starts on one dark night when a greedy marshal annihilates the royal family of the Northern Wei Dynasty, leaving only the cherished and beautiful princess to survive. A girl named Wei Young rescues her. She happens to be the illegitimate child of the treacherous marshal, and in a heartbreaking turn of events, his legal wife assassinates Wei Young in cold blood, which drives the escapee princess to adopt her identity and vow to seek vengeance for Wei Young and her deceased family. With a new family that aims to kill her and a prince her heart beats for, but her mind refuses to accept the princess does her best to fulfill her promise. If tragically beautiful dramas are a favorite of yours, then we highly recommend you tune in for The Princess Wei Young. And if you're liking this kind of content, be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. Thanks, MDLers! Number 8, Legend of Fu Yao. Number 8 on our list, The Legend of Fu Yao, a wuxia drama about a slave girl who rises to empiredom. Our protagonist, Fu Yao, a mere lowly and bullied servant of the Zhuangyuan sect, who's trying to change her life path. And because she's mischievous and rebellious, she learns martial arts in secret. Everything is fun until one day she awakens a dangerous curse inside her. Later on, she embarks on a risky adventure across the Five Kingdoms to obtain the Five Secret Talismans and meet the Crown Prince whom she falls in love with. Along the way, they get tangled up in power conflicts within the palace, while an ancient evil plans to wreak havoc. Amidst all the hardships the pair face, they influence each other greatly. Fu Yao softens and humbles the prince down, and he supports and loves her dearly. All in all, it's a political drama with overflowing emotions that definitely deserves your time. Number 7, Ancient Love Poetry. Ancient Love Poetry is honestly the whole package in our Shangxia Dramas book. It has A list stars and an engaging story, plus a heartbreaking romance. The drama centers around two long lost deities who take turns remembering and forgetting each other over three lifetimes. Sangu is an incompetent, lazy deity who trains under a powerful and feared god named Baiju. So she would be capable enough to play her role as the leader of the four true gods to stop a heavenly trial and falls into a thousand year long coma. And when she wakes up, she loses all recollection of her past. Baiju, under all his prowess, is just a love-struck man who would do absolutely anything to keep his lover, Shanggu, safe and sound. He loves her so sincerely and selflessly that he sacrifices his reincarnation for her and spends more than 200,000 years in love with her, waiting for fate to bring them together. Pretty tear-jerking, isn't it? Number 6, Story of Yangji Palace, Yangji Palace. There are a handful of series that took the world by storm, 
And as the most Googled show on Earth in 2018, it's safe to say Story of Yangji Palace is one of them. The drama's compelling story revolves around a humble but smart girl who infiltrates the royal palace as a maid with a clear purpose in mind, uncovering the truth behind her older sister's death and plotting to take down the number one suspect, the Imperial Guard. Along the way, she gains the Emperor's favor, who mentors her and helps her get into the palace's harem, all while cultivating her into a well-educated maid with unwavering devotion. Within a couple of years, the maid eventually rises to Imperial Noble Consort, the second highest rank after Empress. Oh, and she falls for the Imperial Guard, who turns out to be innocent. But then, who killed her sister? Watch Story of Yangji Palace to solve the murder case with her. Number 5. The Long Ballad It's hard to find manhwa, live adaptations which are as good as their premise. But worry not, The Long Ballad does not leave anything to be desired. Amidst the political tension rising in the capital city, the princess is forced to flee for her safety, and upon sneaking back, she gets the shock of her life when she sees that her uncle assassinated her family. Filled with rage, the princess decides to employ all her military knowledge and fighting skills, and sets on a journey to achieve justice for her deceased family and regain her rightful throne. It's indeed a long, sturdy journey. Along the way, she meets a brilliant military commander, who ends up assisting her on her journey, and the two form a strong bond. Between the novice princess and the experienced uncle, who will win the game for the throne. Number 4. Love and Redemption Among all the Xi'an Xia stories we've seen, we have to say that Love and Redemption is special to us. It centers around Zhuan Ji, who most people think is a lot to handle, including her own father, who's always lecturing and punishing her for her laziness and ineptitude. She's actually receiving a punishment when she meets Yu Si Fang, and even gets him in trouble, and repeatedly after. Not that he minds, as it's kind of hard getting mad at the person he loves after all. But what the pair don't know is that this is not their first time meeting. They are actually the goddess of war, and a demon lord reincarnated as mere mortals. With Zhuanji having to work on her cultivation skills and conspiracies to revive the Demon King being sown, it seems the love between the pair is impossible, or is it? This is a one of a kind drama that had me watching with bated breaths. Number 3 The Story of Ming Lan. There are two types of people in this world those who forget and forgive, and those who plot a downfall in silence. The heroine of the story, Ming Lan, is just the latter, is an intelligent and beautiful daughter of a deceased, low-rank concubine and a scholar father who doesn't favor her and turns a blind eye to the mistreatment she receives by her stepmom and siblings. It's only natural for Ming Lan to be filled with hatred and decide to take revenge. But to do that successfully, she must always guard her feelings and never show her true self. Her love interest is Gu Tingye, who's the exact opposite of her, and him being a completion of her makes her fall in love with him. With time, her mask starts cracking. All with his love and support, of course. From an engaging plot, formidable pacing, and impeccable acting, this drama makes a great piece of cinematography. Number 2. Joy of Life One thing I can say about Joy of Life is as soon as you click play, you will be immediately sucked into a mesmerizing world. The Wuxia drama focuses on a 21st century man who wakes up one day finding himself in another era and as an infant. His grandmother raises him in a safe small town and hides him because he's an illegitimate child. No one must visit him for very long, not even teachers. So he's lonely but safe. Well until an assassination attempt happens to him, which pushes him to set out on a journey to the capital city to know more about his deceased mother. Along the way, he falls in love at first sight with a mysterious girl who ends up not being mysterious at all because these two are tied in a political marriage anyway. But he also gets tangled in political secrets and conflicts that he is determined to solve, full of martial arts, romance, humor, and mystery. This drama is an easy 10 out of 10. Number 1. Nirvana and Fire Number 1 on our list, Nirvana and Fire is a wuxia drama that caused us panda eyes for days, and it could cause yours too. The drama tells the story of a boy who escapes death by a whisker. When his father and 70,000 soldiers get massacred due to a conspiracy by a political rival, 
Following the near-death experience, the poison treatment makes him frail and sickly, but he is determined not only to avenge his people, but to make the culprits realize the gravity of their actions. Twelve years after the incident, he establishes several alliances that help him become a prominent strategist in the capital city under a new identity. Caught up in the battle for the throne, he carefully chooses who to root for on the surface and who to secretly assist into empiredom, all while investigating the conspiracy from years ago. With such an exceptional plot full of twists and an ensemble of grounded complex characters, Nirvana and Fire simply makes it to the top 10 sea dramas ever. it was really hard to narrow the list down to just 10 dramas because there are just too many historical sea drama gems. We mentioned some other highly rated dramas such as The Untamed, Ashes of Love, Romance of Tiger and the Rose, The Rise of Phoenixes, and Eternal Love in our other videos, so make sure to check them out. What's a drama you think we should have included? Let us know in the comments below and don't forget to like the video and subscribe. We'll see you soon MDLers! Thanks for watching! I'm your host at Happy Squeak.